Hey babe, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing a review on the highly sought after HMB Cosmetics Foundation. Um, I got this in the restock in January. I was super on it. I like set my alarms and everything to get my hands on one of these. And it was time for a new foundation. I have been using um, NARS, but I was in need of a new foundation and I grabbed this one and I thought, let's do a little review. I'm no makeup artist. Um, but I've been through my fair share of foundations. I know what works for me and what doesn't. So I thought I'd have my two cents on it. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I've just put my hair up in a little slick back pony. I've got a massive under the skin spot on my face, which is a little bit painful, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm weirdly glad it's there because then we can really put her to the test. Um, so. For those of you that don't know this, I mean, if you don't know, then where have you been? But this is the H&B Cosmetics Foundation, which is going crazy on TikTok, um, along with the concealer as well. I do actually have the concealer. I've had that for a while, and I know I really like it. So that also encouraged me to get the H&B Cosmetics Foundation. So it comes in this beautiful box. If we open it up... I haven't actually opened it yet. And also, I went on the i went on tiktok shop and i bought it on tiktok and i just kind of grabbed the shade that i thought would suit me i've done a fresh layer of tan so i am tanned i do like to do my makeup when i've got tan on um so i'm matching it to my tan shade so i got the shade lf 11n and i got this off tiktok and i thought yeah that's going to be a really nice shade especially when i get more tan in summer it'll match me quite well I think and then everyone started to receive their parcels um, after the restock on TikTok and all of the fake tan galleys were like oh I got shade 5N or 5W and I was like I got shade 11 um, so I <laughs> don't know this might be really dark and it does look fairly dark in the actual um, tub container thing but what also sold me on this foundation is that um, it has really good packaging. So with the packaging you can twist it up and um, so you won't lose any lids or anything like that and then you can twist it back down and it's obviously that's pump packaging. So it's super nice um, packaging. This is the first time I'm going to be seeing the shade. As you can see it looks quite dark so I don't know if I've made a boo-boo but let's put it on my hand. Ooh. Okay, she's dark, but with a bit of concealer, I reckon we can make it work. Um, I can always pick up like a light shade another time and then mix it. But yeah, if I compare it to my NARS foundation, then you can see the difference. So in my NARS, this is very well loved. Please do not judge. Um, so in my NARS foundation, this is the shade Punjab. So let's compare it. I'm not going to mix them, obviously. Okay, yeah, so it is a lot darker. <laughs> so you can see the two shade differences there. That looks um, a little bit of a dramatic shade difference. Maybe I should have got a lighter shade. Um, so, but we're just gonna make it work. I've got, as I say, I've got the HMB Cosmetics Concealer. So we can just lighten her up. It's fine. I'm just gonna dab on a little bit of this. Oh, that spot is huge. Okay, I, I reckon it'll be fine, you know. I think if we just add in a little bit of concealer, like to lighten it. Okay, so it pops on. I've also got, I've actually got like four under the skin spots at the minute. So annoying. But it does mean that this foundation is really going to be put to the test. And what I'm also going to do is put it on and you're going to see me do my makeup. It's going to be like a little bit of a chat get ready with me as well. Um, and then I'll come back later and then show you how it's lasted because I think that's really important. I personally have oily combination skin and makeup doesn't last that well on me. Um, I have to touch up during the day. So I have to block my nose and things. Um, so yeah, we're just going to see. Right, I've damped, oh, I've damped my beauty blender. I don't know what one this is. Right, so yeah, she is a little bit orange, but it's okay. So we're just gonna blend it in. Okay. 
okay it's a little bit stickier than I thought not that that's a problem but it's um it is a full coverage foundation I've put like a little light sprinkling on and then we can always go in with more okay I don't think the shade is actually too bad like it is an orange shade don't get me wrong um probably should have got a lighter shade but it's not like Jesus you look like an Oompa Loompa like when I've got fresh tan on it's fine um <clears throat> the only annoying thing is is that because it is darker I don't feel like I'm really going to be able to test the full coverage ness of it because I only want to add like a light layer so I don't go too orange but that was a really nice first layer it's really even it is really dewy let's add a tiny bit more in so I'm, as I say I'm not touching the NARS one I'm just gonna go in with a bit more of the HMB it hasn't massively covered that spot I mean I think it would be a big ask if I was going to expect it to cover that spot but it's also gone a very long way so I think I did did I do one pump two max I definitely didn't do any more than two and it's covered my whole face so that's good with the NARS one I often find I have to do about three so I'm definitely using a bit less product than usual yeah I like it I like it a lot it, you can, <clears throat> excuse me it's definitely luminous you can tell it's got a glow to it uh, it's definitely more luminous than the NARS one that I usually use uh, but yeah I really like it put it down my neck a little bit I really like it it's really nice it's definitely build buildable 100% buildable I'm just gonna try and pop oops a so that's one pump so that goes a very very long way so I'm just going to try and build it up ever so slightly just on my cheeks here. I often find that the, I have to apply like a little bit more foundation just here. Um, I don't know why, but sometimes it just doesn't stick very well here. I really like this so far. It's pigmented where you want you cover what you want it to cover if that makes sense but it's not like pure pigment so you can still see a bit of your skin underneath which i really like because i've got freckles not bad at all their shade range is incredible um very very inclusive i'm just going to leave that on my hand for now but yeah their shade range is very very inclusive and i think anyone who fake hands Anyone who fake tans can be a variation of shades from like shade 5 to, well, all the way to 11. It kind of jumps up then to 12. Um, and there's a little bit of like a gap, I'd say, between shades 11 and 12. But all of my fake tan galleys, I feel like you can just get away with any sort of shade between 5 and 11. I would personally say. Obviously, I haven't tried the other shades. But um, So next, what should we do next? I'm just reaching down here, my makeup case is down here, so bear with me. Okay, so I've got my cream products here. So what I like to do is, I like to do my contour, bronzer, then I'll do my concealer and then my blusher. So that's what I'm going to do today. You'll have to excuse the state of my makeup because I haven't cleaned it. Because um, why would I do that? Like, it's just, it's fine, it's just makeup. What matters is how you apply it. Um, so this is the NYX wonder stick um so you've got two ends i never use the lighter end i'm not gonna lie obviously it's meant to be a concealer but i never use that end i just use the little contour end and i really like this because it's the perfect shade and i've never found a contour stick which is like really this isn't too pigmented either because i find with contour sticks that 
I don't want to apply it and apply like loads of pigment and coverage because that's not what I'm after from a contour stick so this is kind of like sheer but it still adds that shadow if you know what I mean so I'm just gonna apply a little bit just a little bit there I might pop a tiny bit on my forehead as well I've got quite a small forehead so um It doesn't, I don't put much on there because if not, it ends up blending all the way down my face and I end up, yeah, with contour all over my forehead. And this is literally the easiest contour stick I've ever found to blend in. Okay, I'll show you from the side. Just give it a little feather. And it doesn't necessarily add loads of pigment, but it just adds that shadow. Can you see what I mean? Love absolutely love this is the refi double-ended duo brush there we go blends in so easily it's like the most underrated contour stick ever and then whilst we're working on my base before we add on too many products like bronzer and blusher i'm actually going to use the NARS little pop concealer this is in shade custard and I'm just going to cover up um my blemishes oh I forgot to rub in that contour there we go uh yeah I've got loads of just like little under the skin spots which is really annoying and strange for me anyway okay a little bit better I only use this cream bronzer when I've got like a dark foundation shade on so well I say it's a cream bronzer it's not actually and you'll have to ignore the state of the lid it's actually a Primark foundation stick um, and my god is it good um, as I say you'll have to ignore the state of the lid but it's amazing it's in the shade caramel it literally was like a pound or something like that and yeah it's just amazing but a little bit does go a very long way. I'm just going to use my same stipple brush. Stipple that in. I like to build up with that one as well because sometimes you put a massive, massive splodge on your face and then you're like, whoa. So it's just better to build that one up. I'm really liking this foundation as a base. Everything's going really nicely on top. So love that. And if you want to put like a lighter layer on, it, you can just use it as like a, not a tint, that's like the wrong word. Because obviously mine is really dark, so I would just put like a little bit on. But I feel like that's what I'd usually do anyway. Because as I said, I do like to show my freckles and like show my skin through my makeup. Um, but again that's another reason why I wanted that foundation because you can build it up to full coverage or you can just put a little bit on and it'll still be nice and glowy and luminous without being too full coverage love okay so now I'm looking extra bronzy I like to go in with my concealer this is the HMB Cosmetics concealer this is in the shade SF1W, so I think it's a, like a light, warm shade. And I've been using this since forever. I'm nearly out. I'm not quite out, but I'm definitely getting low. I'm just going to dab that in. I always like to take my concealer just over my eyes as well. So I've got a nice eyeshadow base. Not that I do anything particularly fancy with my eyeshadow at all. Going back in with my bronzer brush, I'm just going to try and blend them together a bit on my cheeks. Lovely. And then I'm going to go in with blush. I am obsessed with blusher. I always put too much on but intentionally because I just like how it looks. 
So for blusher, I'm going to use the Refi blusher in Malaya. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Malaya. Also, I can see a hair on my eyelashes. Right, don't know what that was about. I've got too many things in my hands. <laughs> So I'm going to pop some of this on. These are all cream products, so we can just... Also, it's really good because that's going to cover my spot a little bit as well with the redness. That's blending really nicely. Okay, so I literally look like a clown, and that's how I like it. And then I like to blend it in. I use the other side of the brush just to really tap it in. Oh, doing wonders for the spot love that for me i really want to try the pink powder the pink under eye powder that everyone has that looks amazing okay love and then i'm just gonna go in with my refi bronzer in the shade sand this is a little bit light i'm not gonna lie i wish i'd got a darker shade because i ordered a half line um so yeah i wish i'd got a darker shade because it's a little bit light but I have to say it makes a really nice blending shade between my other bronzer and like my blush it's just nice to go in with this to like yeah mix them together me and my boyfriend are actually going shopping today um I'm just adding a bit more of that foundation because I feel like it's come off this part of my face again it always does I don't know why it just doesn't stick on that part of my face so i have to keep going in and like reapplying it honestly whatever foundation i use it does that so that is no beef towards that foundation okay that's better um okay what should i do next powder we need to powder i need to highly highly i need to really set my face um because i'm an oily gal so to set my face, I've got the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake Powder. Love this, it's really good. I think the thing I like about this though is the packaging. Um, my shade is Pound Cake and I just love the packaging because most powders, when you take the lid off, there's like powder in the lid, if you know what I mean. And then when you put it back on, you have to balance the powder to get back in and then it all gets around the nooks and crannies and then as you put it back on it like puffs everywhere and I don't love that but this has a little thing I know most people throw this bit away but then as you take this bit off you've got the powder inside and then you can just pop it back on and it stays inside and that is the most amazing packaging because I always think that about powders I'm like why do you put the lid back on and it you expect me to put the powder in the lid it just it's annoying to me so i like to lightly set under my eyes i learned this off oh my god i can't remember his name off tiktok um, but he's like la based super amazing makeup artist he's like the guy that's got like the flawless under eyes and he's got like these high cheekbones he's gorgeous um but i like to slightly set because he said if you set if you like bake straight away um under your eyes if you think about like a mud pie, wait, how, how do I explain this? So when you've got like, if you're making like a mud pie, you've got all the wet mud and then you add like water. No, if you add powder, sorry, it's just going to get all sludgy. So what you need to do is like set it just lightly and then go in and bake and that will give you like a nice flawless under eye. I didn't really explain that very well, to be honest. But I know what I mean. I'm just gonna set those areas. Like literally look how oily my forehead is. And then when I set it, it's just so satisfying. Uh, so now I'm gonna bake. Okay, we are flashing red, I won't lie. Um, so that's annoying. I'm just gonna bake under my eyes, give me a nice bright under eye. Lovely. Should probably say as well, obviously I know I'm no like makeup artist or makeup expert, 
Did I say that at the start? This is just how I do my makeup. And I find it satisfying to watch other people do their makeup, so I thought I'm going to do one on my channel. Why not? Do not have to be a makeup artist to do makeup? I'm just giving it my best shot. A up. My camera died. Um, I didn't do anything else to my makeup. Um, just brushed off my bake and then put a tiny bit of powder blusher on. So that's it. So we're going to swiftly continue on. I also got cold in that time. So I've now got my dressing gown on. And I've got my... I've got my leg. I've got my Ugg slippers on. Oh, that was major flexibility from me. Um, so I'm in cosy mode now. So we've had a bit of a scene change, but nothing's really changed with my makeup. Um, now I'm just topping up my bronzer with a bit of powder bronzer, which is, of course, HMB Cosmetics powder bronzer. So I'm just setting around my face, not setting with it, but I'm just going over the bronzer that I've already put down with the cream. <clears throat> last steps I just need to do my eyes and lips and my eyebrows so um, I'm just gonna stick them down a bit with my by Ellie brow I don't know what they call it brow shape so I'm sure you've seen this all over TikTok again it's super popular now I know you're meant to activate it and I know you're meant to do it on bare skin but I'm not going to activate it and I'm going to do it with makeup on. Just because I don't like my brows to be like super flat. But I do like to have something in them just to stick them where they are. I've decided because I did do them flat and I did, sometimes I do do that, sometimes. But today I don't want to do that and I feel like it suits me more when I just have a little bit of a fluffy brow with nothing too heavy going on, like this. So they're not like really stuck to my head. They're just like stuck in their place, you know? So I know that's not how you meant to use it, but I'll use it how I like. Um, now just to fill them in a bit, I'm gonna use the Refi pencil. I don't know what shade this is in, it's just the brown one, dark brown or something. If you hear any noise, by the way, I'm just filming at my boyfriend's house. So it's probably his family. Like that, it's just his family moving around. We're going shopping today. And um, the aim um, is actually to build me up a little drawer here. Because... As you guys should know if you've watched my other YouTube videos, I live in Manchester and I'm constantly travelling down here. I much prefer it here because it's like a really relaxed family vibe and I don't really like where I live. It's I live in a shared household and it's just not the vibes. Like it's a good base for when me and Corey want to explore Manchester and do different things like that and like go out and you know like do fun things go shopping at the Trafford Centre like loads of stuff but when we just want a chilled quiet weekend which is most weekends to be honest lol we do just want to be be here and just have like a chilled weekend kind of thing and at my house there's like nowhere to chill apart from like my bed kind of thing but there's only so much chilling you can do in one place. Whereas here you've obviously got different rooms. You've got different sofas and you know what I mean? Um, and it's super nice because he has such an amazing family. Um, and it's really nice on a Sunday. Everyone comes round and like has a roast dinner. And it's just, it's so nice here. I love it. So... Um, I'm always here but that means I'm always having to travel with a suitcase and always having to pack and unpack and it is really annoying and it takes me ages as well. I don't know why it takes me so long but it does. Oh, um, Yeah, it takes me so long to pack and unpack. Um, so we've decided that I'm going to have like a little drawer here just so it makes it easier. I can just shove a few clothes in a bag and then that'll be it. Whereas at the minute I bring a massive suitcase and I bring about four 
other massive bags as well just because I've got like food and like I don't know like gym kits like, I just I pack so much I'm not a like packer that's for sure I'm just using my life's a drag palette which is really old I feel like I need a new palette because this has some really nice colors in it but um the one I always use the nude color is like all gone it's just around the edges now so that's annoying but I'm just dragging some of that through the crease ha <laughs> dragging no pun intended I'm debating whether to do eyelashes today or just keep it simple and do mascara because I don't like a full lash but sometimes I do like outer edge lashes I could do okay popped some of that in my crease and then I've got like this little I use them Zoeva brushes by the way and and then I've got this little flat brush to do under my eyes this is again just a Zoeva brush but this one's a bit thinner compared to like the fluffier one and I'm going with like a cool brown shade use my mirror for this I've actually decided to just do mascara today. So I'm just gonna do that. So ride or die mascara. I feel like you can always judge a character by their mascara. You've got like the benefit gals, you've got like the drugstore gals. I am officially a drugstore gal and I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof one. It has to be the waterproof one because if you don't know this trick, this is gonna change your life. What you need to do is curl your eyelashes, get a decent pair of eyelash curlers. If you get them from TK Maxx or Primark, it's not the same as if you use a good pair. I've got the Tweezerman ones, so good. So you need to get a decent pair of eyelash curlers because it will honestly change the game. And then you need to get a waterproof mascara and your lashes will stay up. Trust me. I have lashes which are like, they're not like, straight but they're not going to stay up and be nice and like open but if you curl your eyelashes to shit with a decent eyelash curler and then put waterproof mascara on look they will stay up because the waterproof mascara makes them like stay they don't droop because i would always put mascara on and then they would like droop and when I first put it on, it would look great. And then after literally like five minutes, they would drop. I'm not going to lie. I am really fed up of this cold, as in the weather, because I've only got so many winter jackets and I'm kind of like having to base my outfit, my outfits off what jackets I've got. And I've only got a few jackets and I'm getting fed up of wearing the same outfits. I kind of want summer to be here so I can just wear no jacket and have like more of a variety. Oh, I just smudged it on my eyelid. Right, um, do I do bottom lashes? We'll do a little bit of bottom lashes. Right, lastly, I've just got lips and then a few touch-ups. Oh, actually, I might put a bit of highlighter on as well. So for highlighter, you would have known if you watched my previous video. If you're a true subscriber, um that i got a highlighter from work and it's from misguided beauty um because we're doing a little collab thing with them so i'm just going i mute i bought this brush as well and i'm just going to try this brush because i applied it with my fingers when i first got it oh it's quite powdery and um it didn't go well with fingers it was very blotchy and patchy so i thought i need to do this with a brush so i bought this but I know people don't really use these brushes anymore, like they're a bit old school, but I thought I'd give it a go. If it doesn't work, then it's no beef. It was like three pound. I'm not gonna lie, I've just put a highlighter on and now it's really like highlighted my spot. Maybe I should make it into a beauty spot. I think I'm gonna use this to make this into a beauty spot. It's NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick. Although it's black, so I don't know if that's going to look a bit funny. Ow, it really hurts. This isn't very hygienic. Oh no, I think that looks quite realistic. There you go. 
Now, does that look weird? Not the beauty spots are weird, but does it look like a beauty spot or does it just look like I've blobbed a bit of mascara on my face? Should I have done that? Oh well. When I go downstairs, Corey's going to be like, what have you got on your face? Because he knows I don't, have any I don't have any beauty spots. I think it's because it's black. I should have done brown. Let me try my eyebrow pencil. Let me try this. I think that's better. Anyway, we'll leave that there for now. Next is lips. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a pinky lip today. So I always go in with this lip liner. It's a Huda Beauty one. I don't know in what shade. Honey Beige. Always this lip liner, mainly because it's the only one I have. <laughs> so I've gone for like quite nude, plain eyes. So I think I'm going to do a bit more of a funky lip, just a bit more of like to give me colour. I wonder what you're doing on your Saturday today. It is a Saturday that I'm filming this, but I wonder what you're doing right now if you're watching this. Okay, they're a little bit pinky, and then I'm just going to add a gloss on top. And to finish off, of course, we've got a HMB Cosmetics um, gloss in the shade 1111. I've had this for so long, it's literally empty. I need to get a new one. Um, I'm just going to put some of that on top. There we go, so we've done a little bit of a pinky lip. And, and I've got my pink blush as well. I'm just going to pop a little bit more blusher on because I'm obsessed with blusher. A little bit more blusher and then a little bit more bronzer just around certain areas. And then I'll come back and show you the finished look. Finally finished. This is my little outfit. Oh, oh my back. Oh. Okay, this is my final little outfit. You're going to show your outfit. Lovely. Okay. Okay, this is my final little outfit. So I've got, I've stolen Corey's little puffer jacket and I've got my green bodysuit. I've got these jeans, which obviously I've got thermal um, leggings underneath because if you know me, you know I get cold very, very easily. So we've got thermal leggings underneath the jeans. And then I've got my little loafers from ASOS on. This is Zara, Zara, H&M. And then I've got these sunglasses, which they're just my prescription sunglasses. They're literally from Specsavers. So um, it's just so I can see. And that's it. So um, I'm now, oh, I'm a bit bright. We are now going to go into town and I'm going to test the longevity of this foundation. And I will update you when I'm back and give you my final thoughts. Hope you are having a lovely Saturday, even though you're going to watch this on Wednesday, but I hope you're having a nice Saturday, whatever you're doing anyway. Hi, I'm back and I've been for a full day of shopping and eating and trying on clothes. I have to say, I love this foundation. I'm so impressed, more so than my NARS and that is saying something. So if I zoom you in closer, oh, up close and personal. So obviously I've been wearing my sunglasses all day. So obviously I'm going to have a few sunglasses marks. Um, but honestly, they're not that bad. It separated the tiniest bit on my nose. Wow, we're really up close and personal here. Creased the tiniest bit on my little mouth creases. Earlier in the day, I did um, just smudge them in. So that's why I've got a tiny bit of a patch there. Um, so you can see that there. Um... But all in all, I'm so impressed. It's now half seven and I put this makeup on at, I think, 10, half 10 this morning. So I'm super impressed. I'm so chuffed. I'm really not mad at the shade as well. I know I got a bit of a dark shade, but all in all, I think it looks okay if I just put um, a little bit less on and then um, a bit of concealer as well, a bit of lighter concealer. I think it balances out. And then in summer, obviously I'll use a bit more when I'm a bit darker. Um, so absolutely love, would highly recommend, it's definitely worth the hype, definitely worth all the, um, sellouts, is that the word, sellouts, all the out of stockness, 
definitely worth in my opinion again not that i'm any sort of makeup artist i just love all beauty products and makeup i'm gonna give it out of 10 i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 reason being i'm fairly matte today i set my face quite a lot because i knew i was going to be having my makeup on all day so i set it quite a lot and it really didn't take a lot of setting so you can be more matte with this foundation but also when i applied it it was super super glowy so i can have a super glowy base if i want to and that means that it's going to be really diverse um uh, shade range amazing packaging amazing so i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten as i say we went shopping today and i bought loads of stuff from primark so i'm gonna film a primark haul tomorrow and that will be my next video so if you could subscribe so you're reminded about my video that would be amazing come back for more if you liked this video i'm gonna have one every single wednesday and i would love to see you again got this far I really appreciate it and I will see you next Wednesday, same time, same place and subscribe. Bye!